Welcome to our tutorial on editing animation. Currently, our animation works like this. The model rotates, explodes, and then collapses. Let's begin by selecting all of these key points. Right-click, copy, and then right-click about here and select paste. I can also paste on a time bar position. When I mouse over the time bar, it is highlighted. If I right click and click paste, the first key point will be pasted at my selected time bar position. Next, I'm going to highlight all key points. Let's grab this one and drag it one second to the left. The rest of the key points moved accordingly. Let's check how our animation looks now. The model rotates, explodes, rotates again, and collapses. Let's highlight the key points again. Right click. Let me actually drag the manager window a little bit up so you can see better. OK, right click. Now select Reverse Path. Now, when I drag the time bar, the model rotates in the opposite direction. OK, let's right click on a key point and select Delete. All highlighted key points are thus deleted. Once again, I'll place a key point at second number 15. Right click, place key. Next, I'll move second number 20, zoom out on the model, again right click and place a key right here. Now when I move between seconds 15 and 20, the model will be shown as zooming in and out. Next. Let's make the position of the model at second 15 the same as at second 21. Let's right click on this key point, select copy, and then move our time bar to second 21. Right click, paste. Now our model zooms out and back in again. Next, I'm going to highlight and right click. And let's delete this key point. Now let's right click on orientation and camera views and disable view key creation. Let's check to see what's different. Let's right click here, select place key. Next, when I place the time bar at second number 20, let's say I zoom out. You see that SolidWorks automatically created a change bar. If I don't want to create movement unintentionally, it's important to right-click and select Disable View Key Creation. Now, if I move the time bar, and let's say move the model, nothing happens. I actually need to right-click and place the key point manually. Now I'm going to run our animation at a 500% speed. Click play from the start. And let's stop. You see what happens now when I go from second 21 to zero. The model jumps. This won't look good if I want to loop the playback. I need to right click, copy, and right click on the first key point and paste. Now the beginning and the end of the animation match each other, thus allowing for a perfectly seamless loop. The same effect could be accomplished by pasting the time bar at this key point. Go to this key point, right click, and select Replace Key. SolidWorks will record the position of the model at this key point. 
And this concludes our tutorial on editing animation.